All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. So, if you guys remember, this is the Palmetto State Army. This is their 14.7 inch FN barrel. Uh, this thing is bad to the bone. And one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to, well, do a couple things with it. One, I wanted to go ahead and put a red dot on it. And then I thought, what a great application. We put the red dot on it. We've got this magnifier behind here, both of these guys. This is the Holosun 503C U Elite. And this is the primary arms three times magnifier. And I am sitting out here at the range. And this guy is awesome. Now, the cool thing is, is this is the lower from Econ 1. And guys, I switch these things around all the time. But what we're going to do today is that we are going to take a look at this guy right here. This is new. This is new to the market. This is a CMC Trigger CMC Bolt Carrier Group. And guess what? It is enhanced. <laughs> so this is for the AR15556223300 Blackout optimized for the suppressor use. Mil spec 8740 steel firing pan and large Ford ports. Hardened 4340 cam pan, black nitride finish, MPI HPT tested mil spec extraction, extractor spring, and o ring. Pretty cool. Made in the good old USA in the state of Texas. And you know what? We love Texas because those guys ain't nothing but all Americans all the way. Okay, so the biggest thing is on this guy right here is it does have a salt bath nitride finish. Uh, as well as a couple differentiating features of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera in so you can see these things because I do want to go over them in detail with you. Here we go. First of all, ain't it pretty? Anytime I get a new bolt carrier group, I just go, ain't it pretty? But one of the things that I want to show you is they did a reduction in the surface area for the contact points. Uh, so the contact points on a bolt carrier group are here, here, and usually all the way across right here. So Interesting is that uh, they took out some of those parts. Let me see if I can get it to focus in right there. Come on now. There, there, uh, there we go. So you see that little area right there that's highlighted as well as that area right there. They did the same thing over on these areas as well. Now, less contact means less friction. The cool thing is you got this nitride finish, which gives you a very smooth finish. Now, here's another feature that they incorporated is this enlarged area right here. So what does that do? When it, the bolt goes back or the bolt carrier goes back into the buffer tube, it has a tendency to kind of pitch back like, like this, okay? And what that's called is carrier tilt. Now, this thickened area right here prevents that carrier tilt from happening. I don't know if you guys remember a little while back, I had my uh, PSA, uh, which one was it? I can't remember. But anyway, it was one I took an old buffer tube off of, and it had a bad carrier tilt problem, and it pretty much just wore the interior finish of that buffer tube. Changed the buffer tube out and didn't have a problem. But what this does is it enables the bolt carrier to go back into that buffer in a very smooth and clean fashion. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Let's get, see if I can get back up here. I want to focus in on those friction areas. See where it goes from here. There's nothing there. Isn't that beautiful? The finish, the fit and finish on these things is just a lot better than you would normally see. And I'm going to put the details and the specifications down below to include the pricing. This was sent to me, by the way, by the guys over there at Optics Planet. To get your 5% on Optics Planet, remember the discount code of KB32.com. But look at that. Dude, this thing's bad. I really dig it. All right, so let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and tear it apart. And if I can get my fingernail in there. Come on. Well, I'll tell you what we may have to do. Get this ink pen in there. There we go. Not a problem. Pull that out that well, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy here a firing pen guys this is a firing pen carry a couple extra ones around with you so you be careful there's your cam pen now what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put it in this ar you know what i could say what well, let's run a thousand rounds through it but you'll probably see this rifle down the road and we'll do continued reviews or after action reports on this thing as well uh, now, one of the things they did was on the fluted area or the trumpeted area, they tried to 
make that a little bit more precise behind the gas rings. And that eliminates a lot of the uh, fouling. Look at that thing. Very nice. Let's go ahead and check the, the O-ring and the uh, extractor. And bring that into focus. There we go. And there is your O-ring and extractor. Very nice. I want to show you something. MP. I guess that is short for MPI. <laughs> and I will tell you this. What a beautiful bolt. Uh, as far as weight is concerned, I don't know if it's any lighter or heavier than anything else out there. Uh, but I tell you what, man. Let's let's do this. I've got, I'm here at the 100 yard range. We've got a piece of steel down there. I'm just making sure I put this thing. No, that's wrong. <laughs> we'll put the, uh, put some rounds down range. I don't know if this thing's zeroed or not. Doesn't matter. I can probably get it on. But uh, I am digging this bolt. I like that nitride finish. It's very clean. It's clear. It's uh, smooth. But the machining on this bolt is uh, impeccable. Got bugs all over me. in there. Once you see where that cam pin, the way it fits, look at that. Pretty nice. And again, let's look at the staking on the gas key. There we go. Nicely done. Don't think we're going to see any issues out of this guy. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of uh, lubricant on this thing and send some rounds down range. Stand by. Right, guys <laughs> CMC guys you've done a great job putting this thing together and we're gonna to continue to run this thing I've got a lot of uh, practice to do with this rifle but we're gonna keep this bolt carry group in this rifle this is gonna be the 36 yard rifle should be a lot of fun uh, may change the lowers out on it I don't know but uh... there we go Anyway, that's it. Thanks to the guys over there at Optics Planet. Don't forget, if you are interested in something like this, this is probably one of the only places I found it, other than CMC themselves, but you get a 5% discount using kb32tac.com. That is a very, very, very nice trigger. Let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it up. Not a trigger. What do you call it? Bolt carry group. <laughs> If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for freedom. Freedom's not free. It's turning into a really nice rifle. Let's go to Boy32. I'm out.